What's going on, Internet Marketing World? Christopher Wilson here. And in today's video, which is uh, day six of the Legendary Marketer Review Challenge Journal, uh, I'm going to be talking about a, a little bit about day six, what I've learned and uh, what I've experienced. And this is a day-by-day -day journey of my experience. And as usual, I promise not to be long, but I promise to be strong. Okay, um, real quick, uh, I, I had to unlock day six, had to talk to my uh, my advisor, Josiah, and uh, I had to come up with my business plan. So uh, I finally formulated my business plan. Um, I, well, I'm not gonna show it to you, but uh, anyway, you know, I asked a bunch of questions and the advice that he gave me is, um, I think I had answered the question, uh, how would I get uh, uh, customers or people to uh, accept or uh, give me their email and, you know, be put on my list? Um, and I suggested, you know, the giveaway method, you know, just offer them some free. Josiah gave me the advice not to, you know, really offer anything free because, you know, you have those uh, just uh, curiosity seekers, so to speak. And, you know, they just want to get the free item. Okay. Uh, also, uh, how much would I uh, set aside for my Facebook advertising budget? Uh, I think I originally put a thousand, and um, he said, "No, that's too much. Um, you know, three hundred dollars is sufficient." Well, you know, basically, you know, spending like like two to three dollars a day on your ads. Okay, and uh, also, um, what else did he tell me? Uh, he told me a few other things, you know, a few other nuggets of advice that were real good. Um, but now, we're on day six. So, um, as you can see, the title is, You Have Questions? No Problem, I Have Answers. And Dave has the answers. And a lot of these questions, you know, we've all asked at one time uh, or another. And, you know, we came up with, with a few answers, but... Here's Dave's answers to that. And you know, you know, as you can guess, he's probably heard them all. But um, one thing is, said, uh, one question is, well, what if I'm new? Okay, what if I'm new to this and I don't have any success stories already? Well, guess what? Um, Dave switches over to one of his students and he lets them explain it. Basically, if you're new, you know, you don't have to tell your backstory. Just start using, you know, your current story as you're traveling through, um, you know, the legendary marketer program, like transformation. You know, I experienced a transformation in learning, you know, the new techniques and tips in legendary marketer like that. Or I now have the ability to, you know, uh, you know, write better copy and so forth. I now know how to set up a business, you know, or how to make my business plan. I know how to market affiliate products now, you know. You use things that are happening to you now, you know, and uh, use words like transition or transformation and so forth. And what you now have, you know, don't dwell, you don't, you don't have any successes yet, but your successes will come, okay? So, uh, where am I at? I forget with this, uh, with this program, I can't check my time, but I, I, I'll try to keep it under 15 minutes. Um, question two, uh, what if I don't have the money or I can't find the money? Okay, we've all said that, I know I have, but what Dave says, um, it's not really a lack of resources, it's a lack of resourcefulness. And better yet, I'll just go to a point in the video that kind of struck me. And this is this will be Tony Robbins. It's at the 614 mark. Let's see if we can get there. Uh, that's close enough. Better than I could ever say. Everything you people have told me, I didn't have the technology. I didn't have the right contacts. I didn't have the time. I didn't have the money. Everything you told me, I didn't have enough Supreme Court justices. Those are resources. And so you're telling me I failed because I didn't have the resources. And I'm going to tell you what you already know. Resources are never the problem. It's a lack of resourcefulness. 
It's a lack of resourcefulness is why you fail. And I'll stop it right there. So basically, that's it, you know. And I've used, I've used excuses like that, you know. But the money came. When I need to do something, you know, in my app business, you know, the money came. Okay. And I, I would almost say magically, but, you know, I'll leave that alone. That's something for another time. <laughs> uh, but, you know, another thing is, you know, when you're doing this Internet marketing thing and whatever you're doing, sometimes you got to burn the ships. OK, and if you, you know, if you know anything about motivation, when, you know, you go to a new land or back when our forefathers went to the new land, so to speak, uh, you know, they said, guess what? First thing they did was burn the ships because it ain't no going back. You know, once we there, we're going to make it happen. We're going to build, you know, we're going to work this land. We're going to cultivate this land and build this land and so forth. So, OK, another question. I just want to finish the challenge. OK, well, you know, he's heard that before, you know, but the blueprint, if you follow the blueprint or if you get the blueprint, you know, it's going to tell you, you know, the things that you need to do. You can kind of like expedite the process, you know, some things you can shortcut. So that was the answer to that question. OK, uh, here's a good one. I've used this. Uh, I need to ask my spouse. <laughs> and Dave says he's heard this thousands of times. OK. And he says, what I do is not for everyone. And one thing is, you know, with me and my wife, she she didn't share my vision. You know, when I first heard about Internet mark, uh, marketing, what I wanted to do, you know, she wasn't with it. You know, uh, she was like, you got to get a job. You know, and my wife is one of those old school people, you know, and that's her mindset and that's fine. But she said, you got to get a job. And, you know, I said, well, give me, give me six months. I think I said, no, I think I said, give me six weeks. Anyway, I started, I started having some little, little successes, you know, then that, you know, she was off my case <laughs> for a little bit, but then, you know, um, uh, successes weren't coming fast enough. So anyway, she stuck with me. And when I started making the apps in 2013, you know, I had a windfall of cash, of course. And, you know, I was able to buy a whole lot of things. And, you know, a few things is I bought my car there. I provide, bought my wife a wedding ring, a new wedding ring. Uh, you know, I took, I bought a new garage, you know, for our house and everything. You know, I did a lot. The money started coming in, and she was a believer. <laughs> you know, she was a believer then. Okay, so you know, sometimes what you got to do is, you know, um, and what will help you. And Dave mentions this is, you know, find the hidden treasure in uh, influencing your spouse. You know, if she comes with something negative, or if he comes with something negative, you know, come with something you know positive. You know, find that hidden treasure in yourself. Okay, and like I said, you know, my wife is old school, and right now, uh, since I'm not doing the apps anymore, I'm going back to internet marketing. You know, she's kind of on my case, but I believe in the end she knows that I'm going to make this thing work because I'm burning ships. Okay, got to make it work. Um, okay, so another thing is um, Dave talks about don't put profits over people. Especially in this business, you know, we market to people. So we have to market to people and don't put profits. You know, let's not get greedy with this. If we just follow the steps, do exactly what Dave has outlined, and I believe it's going to work. I know it's going to work, as a matter of fact. <laughs> My thing is, you know, just making sure everything is in place. Okay. My job is just to show up, basically. Um, so also, Dave talks about the college. Oh, boy, this is good about our educational system. And he real, real quick, he talks about uh, the college textbooks. Now, when I went to college, when I went to Alabama A&M, well, I graduated in 1996. But, you know, you got to buy textbooks, of course. You know, and uh, I think the most I paid for a textbook was $95 at that time. The most, you know, 
Normally, textbooks range about fifty dollars, you know, for all your courses, you know, for each course, whatever. But uh, right now, uh, NBC did a report, and it says the average price of textbooks is four hundred dollars. Okay, four hundred dollars. Okay, in the era of uh, well, actually, the study says that textbooks have risen on an average of 1,070%. Okay? Now, look at that. $400 textbook. Okay? So, that's a big leap. I mean, as far as when I started internet marketing. I mean, not internet marketing, but my college <laughs> education. Okay? Um, and another thing he touches on, our system is set up to take advantage. Okay? He used, of course, the college system and the pharmaceutical industry because, you know, it, they charge way too much for medications and so forth. And, he, you know, he got on the soapbox about that a little bit. And finally, let's go on down to some testimonies. And these are real good. Um, and like I said, I completed each one of these. See, it says assignment right here. Okay, you can see my cursor. So these are assignments to me. Just look at the videos and take notes on the videos is what I did. Um, and basically, you know, for people from all walks of life, some people had money, some people didn't, but they're making this thing work. And this is all at the uh, the uh, event that he held, okay? But I'm going to go down to a few that uh, really touched me. This guy and his wife, because have a spouse and someone telling you telling you your decision to build a business is dumb, hear what Andre and Brittany said, okay? So, you know, she basically said, you know, well, baby, you know, one of us got to get some, some benefits and one of us, you know, got to be on paper. Andre, you know, talks to wife, she said, give me a year. Give me a year. And sure enough, that's all I need. He needed that year to go ahead and get started. And the rest is history. So sometimes when your spouse is not on board, you know, you know, come up with those hidden treasures, you know, and I actually use that today, you know. Because I've mentioned the program, you know, to my wife, you know, and everything. I said, well, I learned this, you know, and so on. So um, let me get down to number 12 here. Okay, this guy's a foreigner, okay? But guess what? That, that didn't stop him, okay? Uh, number 12. No, not number 12. No, is it number 12? No, it, no, it isn't. Well, yes, it is, I guess. Um, but he said he was sick of all the fluff, okay? And what he learned, what he learned, he said he learned to dominate. What he wanted to do is dominate the market because, you know, you go to college and learn marketing, but it's not like, you know, they teach you because you, because you, you're learning from a professor that's not, you know, making the income that you want to make. So, you know, it's kind of counterproductive. So he said he wanted to learn from people who's making the money that he wants to make. Okay, do the same thing he wants to do. He also says that, you know, he's learning these skills that are transfer, transferable skills. Okay, so he said he'd be a car salesman and so forth, but, you know, he can transfer what he's learned as far as coaching and events. He can set up his own coaching and events. So these skills are transferable, what he's learning. Number 13, um, she said, you know, she, she started making a lot of videos, but she just... Um, you know, just had the videos on her phone and wasn't posting them. And it's funny because because my advisor Josiah, um, I think he mentioned uh, he said Christian needs to start making some videos. I said, well, actually, I have some made, but I haven't put them online yet. He said, well, you know what, you need to go ahead and put those online. I said, well, actually, you know what, I did post them. <laughs> you know, so I kind of kind of fibbed there because I didn't know, you know, I didn't know what's going on, what I could use, and then and legendary market or not. You know, but, you know, I told him, I said, he said, well, send me the links to those so I can look at them. I said, sure. So this will be going, day six will be going as well as the other uh, five days or four days that I did. Okay. So, but she said, uh, you know, she had the videos on her phone and, you know, she just, you know, just didn't put them out there. But then she finally did. And she had a poverty mindset. So Legendary Marketer helped her break that poverty mindset. Okay. You know, the nine to five job and so forth. Uh, 14, this guy, he talks about, and I've been hearing this about the, this coach from a lot of people just watching the YouTube videos. His name is Bill Thompson. 
So he talks about Bill Thompson, you know, what he's done for him <laughs> and so forth. But I keep hearing Bill Thompson, you know. So, uh, you know, I keep hearing his name for a reason, you know. So uh, anyway, he talks about, you know, successes, uh, suggests that you pick, pick coaches, okay, and follow them. He also talks about integrity, and here's the quote, legendary marketer is your best shot, okay? So with that being said, everyone, I appreciate you watching the video. Uh, if you like what you heard, if it's going to help you make a decision, there's, a, there's some links in the description. They may be in the video, but go ahead and click those links. And uh, I also got some, uh, some uh, MP3s from Eric Thomas from Stephen Pierce, um, and I think I have an um, ebook, Science of Getting Rich, which is an MP3 ebook, audio book. <laughs> so you can feel free to, you know, to download those and listen to those on your phone or wherever. I know the Science of Getting Rich, you know, has, has really affected me, and that's why it caused me, it caused me to make, at the time when I was making apps, about $8,000 a month. So with that being said, I hope I wasn't too long. And see you all in the next video. Take care. God bless.